Hey everybody, Ranger Chris here and today we have a real classic, Paris. Now these guides are designed so that if you watch them right before going to the match, you'll have a great idea of where everything is and will have enough tools and materials in your hand to customize that perfect hit. Now focus in Paris is going to be getting to a high yield point in the attic where there's the strongest disguise as well as some very valuable items. So let's get to it. Welcome to Paris 47. So I'm going to show you a few starting locations. The most classic one is right outside the palace. You're going to run in to go to the right of the main staircase. Take a right down this hallway and there's going to be a bathroom right here. The first door on your left and you're going to have an invitation. That's what you need. Now another place you can start is out in the garden um, by the side. All you do is you go into the main building from the door on the left side and you'll be in the same place with your invitation. Where I actually started in this freelancer mission was up on the barge. Now, if you go down the barge, there's only one entrance into this building. There's a crowbar right there. This is the only real crowbar in this match in freelancer, unfortunately. Run up and take a left. You're going to go into this little shed and inside you're going to find a propane flask, which you can use for accidents and a hammer. So now our next goal is to go and get that invitation in the main building and get upstairs. Once you come out of the shed, you know, make your way to the main building through this middle um, hedge here. Remember these two guys, you're going to come back here with your invitation to get into the party. Go to the same bathroom, grab the invitation and go back to those two guys. You're going to show them the invitation, they're going to let you buy. And once you're in this hallway, take a right and there's this big staircase. Again, you have to show your invitation. You'll pass, go up. The first door is where you're going to get frisked. Make sure you get rid of illegal items. Now at the top of this staircase is the door to the attic, which is our goal. Once you get up there, just crouch, open the door, run through, close the door behind you. And now we're just going to path through the attic all the way to that location where the two guards are. Now along the way, somewhere in the middle, you're going to see this rusty crowbar. Go ahead and grab it. If you want the real crowbar and you didn't start in the barge, unfortunately, you'd have to go all the way back to the barge. It may not be necessary to do that because the rusty one may be all you need. So now we're here in this location with the two guards. What we're going to do is wait for the conversation to end or we can end it prematurely by throwing that fire extinguisher. When the one guard goes to investigate, we can knock him out and pick up our first collectible, the HX-10 submachine gun. It's a very common weapon. But once you stash his body in that room, grab the elite bodyguard disguise. Strongest disguise in this map, gives you access everywhere, lets you carry weapons. Now you grab the fire extinguisher, you're heading for the surveillance area. Now this guard here is the other guy you saw earlier. You're going to have to knock him out because his patrol kind of messes up what you need to do. Wait for him to come near the window and just hit him from behind, stash his body here. Now if you go to his um, body, you're going to get the Fusil G2, which you can carry if you want for your safe house. Now go to the guy who is doing surveillance, you're going to have a screwdriver close to him. And if you just path your way around to the left side, you're going to have an emetic rat poison here. That's all you need from this area. Turn around, run back to where you stash the body, go through this room, out the window and you have a ladder going down. This office here has three coins on this table which you can take as well as an empty briefcase which you can use to store things or you can use it as a melee weapon or a distraction tool. Go through the room with a big vase and you're going to go down the stairs. As soon as you get to the bottom of the stairs you're going to see the door on your right and that's the museum. Go into the museum and on the far wall you have the saber. This is the most important freelancer acquisition from this level make sure you grab it if you don't take the other things it's okay they're pretty cheap but make sure you get the saber now take the door under the stairs you're going to the basement as soon as you come out there's a wrench on your left go down the hallway to the surveillance room use your instinct to make sure this guy walks by and then you can disable the surveillance system make sure that that door there no one comes through because sometimes there's a guy patrolling and also in this room there's somebody patrolling there's a tactical but only shotgun in the back of this room which you can take if you want remember you can only pick one of these other big guns to take with your saber so you know doesn't matter which you choose you can just buy the other one Walk by this canteen to this cellar area and you have a palace master key. Make sure you grab that. It'll unlock a lot of doors and also grab the second emetic rat poison. Down the hall here you have a locker room with the palace stuff disguise which you can use if you want to poison stuff or if your cover is blown. If you're lucky you might get the starting location which is in the attic right next to the two guards. Nice work.
Now lethal poison is very hard to get in this map. If you don't have any, the only way is to get it off Dahlia Margolis. In this example, I'm killing her in an accident. But you can also subdue her privately. And this is only if you really need lethal poison. Now we know how everything gets shuffled up in Freelancer. So what if you get to the bathroom and there's no invitation like in Master Mode? Just go back the way you came, run across the corridor to this other hallway where the dressing rooms are. There's this one security guard who's guarding the museum. Just go to the bathroom next to him. Quickly turn on, then off the tap. He'll come in to investigate while you're waiting for him. You're going to subdue him, take his uniform and go upstairs to the room with the coins and the briefcase in order to get up that ladder to the place where the two cicada guards were. And I'm just going to let that play out on the screen here. By the end of this opening move, you're going to have the strongest disguise in the map with full access, which is the cicada bodyguard, crowbar, wrench, screwdriver, two emetic poisons, a master key which can open locked doors, no cameras left, lethal poison from Dahlia and anything you brought with you. Speaking of getting past this security, you can use the briefcase trick I showed in our briefcase video to just sneak something past frisk zones. You can also leave a weapon right next to the couch by the frisk zone. Although you have a problem because when you're trying to get back downstairs, you'll notice that one of the guards is an enforcer. To overcome this near that first set of staircase, just head outside. You're going to take a left and there's going to be a pipe where you can leave a weapon. Later on, once you've gotten your outfit, you just need to shimmy over this ledge, come down the pipe and grab that weapon. Now that we have everything we need, let's get the job done. I hope you found this guide helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe. You're all amazing. Take care and see you in the next one.